In order to loop a certain section of music in GarageBand, click the Cycle button. A yellow bar will appear below your ruler. Drag the beginning of that bar to the left side of your region, and the end of the bar to the right side. Now click on the left side of the GarageBand LED and select Project. Once the project LED is up, we can change the time signature of our project, and we can also change the tempo. Let's play this beat. We can make the beat slower, and we can also make it faster. I think this beat works a little bit better fast. Now to begin editing this beat, click anywhere in the editor and select a note. In the editor, we can cut notes, copy notes, and paste them just as if we were cutting and copying words in a word processor. We can also drag notes to different pitches, or in the case of percussion, different sounds. We can select individual notes, or we can select many notes at once by holding down the shift key. I'm going to select every other hi-hat note here, and then using the note velocity slider, reduce all those notes together, and this should create a more lifelike groove on the drum track. We can also select multiple notes at once simply by clicking and holding, dragging a rectangle selector over all the notes that we want to select. Now I'm going to change the hi-hat to a ride cymbal. To create notes on the fly, hold down the Apple key and you'll get a pencil tool. Just click wherever you want a new note and a new note will appear. I'm going to select all these new notes and change their velocities to match the first note. You can also change the length of these notes by clicking and dragging on the right side of each note. And now our finished drum pattern. You can continue to build up instruments in this manner. And once you're done with your track, don't forget to check out Well Mixed for your mixing and mastering needs.